This is a video demonstration of a CSI flex chuck conversion from version 4 to version 5. The difference between the V4 and V5 chucks is the geometry of the lead-in at the open end of the chuck. V4 and prior chucks have a 45 degree chamfer. The V5 chucks have a wider shallower angle which increases the chuck's tolerance to closure misalignment when capturing a closure in the cap feed star. You will only need one tool for this conversion, a 2.5 mm Allen wrench. A 3 seconds wrench can also use if 2.5 mm isn't available. You will also need blue Loctite 242. The detent balls come out of the chuck so you'll want to have something on hand to hold the balls. A bottle cap works fine for that. To disassemble the chuck, start by removing the locking screw in the lock ring. Rotate the lock ring until you can lift it off the chuck. 15 degrees from its original position is all that's required. Now separate the chuck. Be careful to watch for the torsion spring between the gripper assembly and the upper body. It doesn't go flying, but it's a small part and you need to keep track of it. The shell will not be reused. And now <clears throat> we need to disassemble the gripper assembly. I cup the assembly in my hand, in one hand, and use the Allen wrench to pull the O-ring out of the groove. The balls will fall from the detents and I catch them in my hand. And now put the balls away for safekeeping. Pull the bottom O-ring out, I'll use the Allen wrench again, and I like to take the bottom o-ring, or the I guess it's actually the upper o-ring, off of from the back side, rather than trying to carry it through the uh, the other o-ring groove. It comes off quicker that way. So now the gripper segments all come out of the chuck, and we can put the new ones in. The difference again between the two gripper segments is the geometry at the lead-in. The version 5 has a wider angle and the version 4 has a 45 degree chamfer. So we're going to put the V5 segments in. I start by putting in three segments and I then take one of the O-rings and wrap it around in the lower groove on those three and that helps hold those in place while I install the others. So now with the other three in place I'll take the Allen wrench again and use that to slide the o-ring, lift the o-ring up into the groove the rest of the way around. Now I put the o-ring on over the groove for the ball detents. To place the detents into the grippers, I start by placing a ball in the groove, in the notch, where the hole goes through the lower flange of that o-ring groove. I then lift the o-ring with the Allen wrench to create clearance for the ball to fall into the hole. I do that one at a time all the way around the chuck. So I place the ball in the groove, hold it in place with my thumb, and yes it does take a little practice, lift the o-ring groove and it pops in. And 
with that, the gripper assembly is complete. Now, first check with the upper body. Check to be sure that the torsion spring leg is still in the hole in the upper body. It's the hole that the leg engages. So make sure that the leg is in there. And the spring is in place in the bore. Then you take the gripper assembly and carefully align the hole that's in the plastic disc with the leg on the torsion spring. Now with that together, the spring needs to be preloaded. It rotates 45 degrees and when it's aligned, when it's properly preloaded, there's a hole in the plastic disc and a hole in the upper body. It's the small hole and those two holes will line up. Now at that point, I just hold the two together but it is possible to use the small screw and put it in that hole to lock things in place. But I prefer just to use my fingers. Now, to assemble the new shell, and the new shell is only different from the old shell uh, by the diameter of this opening. So the new shell has a smaller ridge, a smaller face around here. Compare the old and the new here. You can see that uh, the new shell has a narrower face, the old shell is the wider face. So what I do is I stick two fingers through the hole and uh, hold the shell uh, with my thumb and ring finger. And these two fingers I push up into the gripper assembly to keep it from rotating and to keep it together to the upper body as I'm putting the chuck together. So making sure that I've got the corner of the gripper aligned with the corner of the hex here and then the flat of the upper body aligned with the flat on the outer hex. I will put everything together. Now when you put it together it might not seat fully. If it stops about like this basically parallel, take your fingers on the grippers and just give them a twist and that's all it takes to get that to go together. Now we want to place the lock ring over the upper body. There's a hole in the, in the shell and there's a hole in the lock ring and those two need to line up because that's where the locking screw engages. So I'll slide the tab on the lock ring down over and then carefully rotate until the hole in the shell lines up with the hole in the lock ring. It's important that you have proper alignment between the holes as it's very possible to force the screw into the plastic in the wrong location. That damages the shell and it could make future assembly more difficult. In some instances it might impact the function of the chuck, but I have not seen that as an issue yet. Now I'm going to thread the locking screw into the hole in the lock ring. and I'm just going to thread it in a little bit and then I, I rotate that, that lock ring just to make sure I've got a little bit of rattle, which means I know that, uh, the, that the screw has started into the hole in the body and that things are properly aligned. Before I screw it in completely, I'm going to put a tiny dab of Loctite on the screw threads. I like to do this after I like to do this after I've started the screw assembly, just to be sure that I don't get the Loctite into the inner workings of the chuck. This makes sure that it's only on the threads. I guess that bent paper clip might be another tool to add to the list. Now the screw is all the way in. I snug it up just tightly, lightly. It does uh, all it all it does is keep this lock ring from rotating, so it only needs to be uh, in tight enough so that it doesn't vibrate loose. 
Now to check for proper engagement of the torsion spring, after it's all together, you'll want to rotate the grippers. They'll rotate maybe 10 or 12 degrees, and when you let go of them, they should pop right back. Some chucks, you might feel a little bit of drag there, and uh, if you do, it's, uh, it's fine to test that rotation of the spring with the closure in the chuck. That will alleviate any drag that may be occurring in the chuck and allow you to confirm that the torsion spring is doing what it's supposed to do. The chuck is now fully assembled and it's ready to install.